Hi 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 this is Athena DJ here welcome to my youtube channel enjoy learning computer science in this video we are going to learn about python libraries are you all excited very very interesting topic python libraries okay so let's learn about python libraries using python libraries then what are the relations between module package and library and let's uh, let me introduce some standard uh, python libraries uh, then let's try to create our own module our own packages right are you all excited come on let's have fun python libraries generally what is a library have you gone to the library what will you see in the library yes absolutely collections of books right similarly in python the python libraries are nothing but it's a collection of modules okay so python library is a collection of modules now what is a module module is nothing but a simple python file okay so any program we write in python how will we save we'll save with dot py extension right so module also simply a file which is saved as dot py extension and this module can be used for some general purpose okay now what are the things uh, we will have inside the module we will be having functions we will be having uh, variables uh, we will have uh, the function definitions all those things will be there in the module okay so module is simply a file that contains some code for general for example to calculate the area okay we will create a program and we will save that with dot py extension that is a module in that module we'll be having the definitions of class uh, function uh, function everything we'll have the variables right and uh, frequently used modules are known as libraries okay frequently used modules are known as libraries and these libraries will contain methods uh, classes okay methods classes which can be used easily right and the python program is made using three different components library or package module functions or sub module okay so python program contains three different components the first one is library or package then module then functions are sub modules now let me explain the relation between a module package and a library okay so what is a module module is simply a python program which is saved with dot py extension right so module is a file which contains definition functions definitions variables classes statements everything and it is saved as a dot py file okay this is module and we can create our own modules we are going to create our own modules okay wait for that and a uh, python package is nothing but is a directory of python modules suppose we are creating a module okay so we'll save the program with dot py extension and uh, we will create all our modules and save it in a directory we'll we'll create a directory or folder we'll create a folder we'll save all our modules in that folder that folder is known as the Uh, pack directory of the python modules that is known as package okay so python package is nothing but a directory of python modules so very simple if you want to understand very clearly you just think you will create all the modules we'll save it in a folder that folder is known as the directory where we have saved all the python modules okay now library is nothing but the collection of many packages there will be many folder we will be creating right so uh, the collection of all the directories the collection of the python packages are known as libraries okay so um, basically there is not much difference between a package and a python library because that is also collection of directory this is also collection of directory okay so 
module is nothing but a simple python program with dot py extension all these modules will saved in a uh, folder that is known as the directory so that is the python package and collection of python package is known as library a library is a collection of modules so in a library you can have any number of modules so some commonly used python libraries or python standard library numpy library scipy etc so first let's see about python standard library okay so some commonly used modules of python standard libraries are math module so this math module provides mathematical functions to support different types of calculations many different types of calculations can be done easily using the math module the next one is c math module this is used for uh, mathematical functions for complex numbers then random module this is used for generating random numbers statistics module which provides mathematical statistics functions and then url lib module this provides url handling functions so that what will what can what can be done you can access the websites from within your program itself so what is url it is uniform resource locator right so the url lib module helps to access websites from within your program itself the next commonly used library is numpy this numpy library provides us with advanced mathematical functionalities and also it gives us tools to create and manipulate numeric arrays now scipy is used for algorithmic and mathematical tools for scientific calculations so scipy is mainly used for scientific calculations and the next one is tkinter this tkinter helps us to create user friendly uh, guy interface okay user to create user friendly guy interface this tkinter is used and then the matplotlib this offers many functions like um, this matplotlib uh, provides many tools to produce uh, quality output in variety of formats such as plots charts and graphs etc now what is a module you all know what is a module right okay so module is nothing but a part of a program so bigger program we are dividing into many individual components so partition partitioning or dividing the program into individual units it's known as modularity and every individual unit is known as a module so modularity is nothing but partitioning a program into individual components and every unit itself is known as a module now what are the features of this module why do we need uh, to have modules in the program because it reduces complexity because we are dividing a bigger program into smaller individual units thereby the complexity is reduced right and then it creates a number of modules that means it creates a number of well defined documented boundaries within the program so every module will be independent it can run on its own and then the contents can be reused once a module is written you can use the module anywhere any number of time without having to rewrite the coding so these are the features of module let's see the structure of a python module okay now python module is nothing but we have we are using python module for reusage without any rework the codings is not necessary to be rewritten okay so a python module can contain more than functions right it can contain uh, doc strings it can contains variables it can contains constants classes objects statements functions etc now the first one is doc string doc string is nothing but a triple quoted commands this is mainly used for documentation purpose 
okay and variables and constants are labels for the data classes are nothing but the templates to create objects of certain kind objects are the instances of classes that means objects represent some real life real abstract entity and then statements are nothing but instructions functions are nothing but group of statements this is the structure of a python module in pictorial representation so in the picture itself you can easily understand module consists of variables functions inside the functions you can have variables methods etc so module is a combination of all these things so a python module is nothing but a file a dot with dot py extension it contains variables Uh, data definitions statements and functions related to a particular task and these modules can be imported to other part of the program okay you can import the module to another module also and uh, the python modules that come preloaded with python are called the standard library modules and it is um, uh, we can also easily create our own module we are going to do so okay let's have a look at an example of a module the name of the module which i have created here is temp conversion okay that's what i have given in comment line for your understanding temp conversion dot py okay and next statement you can see there are three statements within triple quotes right these are known as the doc strings the doc strings are nothing but the documentation strings so suppose you are going um, it will ex it will tell you what actually the program is about or the module is about it is just for documentation purpose okay so doc strings will be within triple quotes then where we have the functions okay how many functions are inside this uh, module there are two functions so we we can have any number of functions inside a module so the function is 2 centigrade and 2 fahrenheit converting from centi uh, fahrenheit to centigrade is one function uh, centigrade to fahrenheit is the other function and then we are declaring the constant you know freezing under uh, water freezing temperature and water freezing temperature in celsius and fahrenheit uh, we have declared as two constants okay in celsius uh, the constant is freezing underscore z in fahrenheit the constant is freezing underscore f right so th this is an example of a module this is not a predefined or python uh, predefined module it is not under any library this is the module created for our own purpose okay so you can create module like this okay so we have created a module called temp conversion and we have stored it with dot py so temp conversion dot py that is our module now we can use this module anywhere so to use this module first you have to import the module so how will you import using the command import the name of the module is temp conversion after importing the module you can use the functions which are inside the uh, module temp conversion so uh, before that if we give the command help and within bracket the name of the module so it will display what is the name of the file uh, what are the doc strings what are the functions which are available and uh, what are the data which are available and where the file has stored the path of the file which is stored in our system all the details will be displayed when you give the command help within bracket the name of the module which is temp conversion Okay. so before using the help command you have to import the module there is one more function called dir this dir when you apply to a module okay it will give the names of all that is defined inside the module so how to give so before using the function dir import the particular module import name of the module is temp conversion then in the next line you give dir and within brackets 
temp conversion so it will display all the names which is defined inside the module freezing c freezing f belt ends everything will be displayed now let's see the general dog string conversions also so the first letter of first line should be a capital letter second line is a blank line and the rest of the details begin from the third line so this is the general dog string conventions hope you have understood about what is a library what is a package what is a module what is the structure of a python module how to use the dir function and the help functions after importing the module are you are you finding it very interesting yes right okay in the next video we'll find some more interesting topics about modules thanks for watching my video Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Enjoy Learning Computer Science. This is Athena DJ signing off. Take care. Bye bye.